Thank you, Claire, and thank you, Chris. Um, I'm very pleased to be here today. As Claire said, I'm a neurosurgeon, and I've spent my whole career designing uh, and testing tools which help us do better brain surgery, specifically better surgery for patients with brain tumors. I'm going to talk today about work that we're doing using optically enhanced visualization of the brain tumor during surgery. And my partner in this work is Pablo Valdez, who is an a very advanced researcher in optics, but who is also a neurosurgical resident. Um, and so that's a pretty unique combination and I think speaks to the unique uh, way in which at the Brigham we're able to bring together uh, science, engineering, and clinical care. So brain cancer is one of the most devastating diagnoses that anyone can receive. And the prognosis for most patients remains dismal, especially those with high-grade gliomas. Uh, most patients have a life expectancy less than two years. The biggest modifiable determinant of prognosis is the degree to which the tumor can be removed surgically. There are other determinants which can't be modified, and so that's why I think it's really important that we push on this modifiable determinant. Both progression-free and overall survival are significantly better when patients have a gross total resection. But complete resection of these tumors is very difficult because gliomas closely resemble brain, and the risk of over-resection is permanent neurologic deficit. Um, so two-thirds of patients, unfortunately, you don't have the slides behind me. Have you had any slides? Oh. <laughs> Okay, um, two thirds of patients are not able to benefit from a gross total resection. So our goal is to improve these surgical outcomes. Um, so you can see they're scanned before surgery and after surgery with residual tumor left behind. So there are a number of tools which have been developed to try to guide brain tumor surgery, help us as surgeons do a better job. Neuronavigation, uh, much of the original work was, was actually done at the Brigham, um, is like GPS for the head. So it helps us know where we are during the brain surgery. Unfortunately, it suffers from inaccuracy as the surgery proceeds due to what's called brain shift, uh, where the brain is moving and changing during the surgery. Another t technology, intraoperative MRI, which was also developed at the Brigham, was developed to provide an accurate intraoperative picture of the tumor and is able to show this in exquisite detail. But this technology is not real time. It requires complete stoppage of the surgery and approximately one hour to obtain the images. In addition, this technology is very expensive and very resource intensive, and so it really is limited in the number of patients who can benefit. So our approach uh, is to develop a quantitative optical imaging system which is able to detect and quantify clinically important biomarkers in real time with minimal disruption of the surgical workflow. This could be coupled with existing fluorescence markers or can use intrinsic fluorescence scattering, and other parameters. Quantitative optical imaging could benefit tens of thousands of patients with brain tumors by improving the extent of resection without requiring the infrastructure of intraoperative MRI. In addition, it could allow the quantification of other biomarkers to define areas of hypoxia and other clinically relevant metabolic markers. In addition to guiding brain tumor surgery, this technology could be used in other cancer surgeries. For example, breast cancer patients undergoing lumpectomy have positive margins necessitating re-resection in up to 40% of cases. By developing systems able to differentiate tumor tissue and digitally enhance these areas for the clinician, hundreds of thousands of patients could receive more effective surgery reducing take-back surgery, lowering costs, and more importantly, improving clinical outcomes. Currently, we have IP filed for our technology, um, a prototype device in testing. We're developing uh, hardware and software, which is currently being tested in a preclinical setting using both phantoms and animals to optimize the system for ultimate clinical use. Spectral unmixing of light reflected from the tissue allows for corrected quantification of the absolute concentration of the fluorophore of interest. Sorry. Um, so you can see that on the left. We've also established a clinical protocol uh, using this novel light diagnostics for color coding of tumor. 
Our system is designed to integrate seamlessly with neurosurgical operating microscopes, which is our surgical workhorse in the operating room, and could also be integrated with some of the newer digital operating exascopes, uh, which are being developed and rapidly adopted. So to ultimately have the broadest impact with our technology, we're interested in establishing academic industrial partnerships. We are pending the final preclinical testing before ultimately implementing this in a first in human in vivo clinical trial. Our human subjects is currently under review at the Brigham IRB. Uh, once we've achieved that implementation, we will continue to pursue um, our commercial partnership. Um, to develop the next stage, we're also working on next stage funding, and we hope to be able to develop uh, the machine learning algorithm. This is going to be initially based on point spectroscopy data that we've already collected. Together with the quantitative optical imaging hardware, the algorithms will, use for, will be used for the in vivo deployment of our proposed quantitative optical imaging system. And with the, with the technology deployed in humans, and machine learning optimized algorithms, we expect to produce the first in humans true artificial intelligence optical image guided neurosurgery. Thank you for your attention and to the Innovation Fund for supporting this work. And we also will be outside in the lobby um, to discuss anything further of interest.